I never understood why someone would pay a boatload of money to get his hands on a gamepad that is marginally better than a standard Microsoft Xbox One controller. Thankfully, Microsoft definitely understood why, and they are now the ones making the best customizable controller, in the form of the Elite. A premium controller. The price of the Elite, is without a doubt, the biggest deal breaker for an otherwise almost perfect gamepad. Its other flaw is the absence of a rechargeable battery. Splurging for a controller that, despite having an official battery pack, decides to include two AA batteries in the box, is somewhat an offense. I understand that they take for granted that most pro gamers, the ones that will buy this kind of gamepad, probably already have a charging kit, but that should not spoil the premium aura surrounding the package. The good. With everything that bothered me out of the way, I have to admit that this is a wondrous controller. It is a bit heavier than the standard one, but the increase is subtle enough, so that it only brings added firmness, instead of fatigue in the hands after long gaming sessions. The new rougher surface, does not disturb the ergonomics of a controller that, at the design level, remains exactly the same. It also guarantees that neither sweat nor a loose grip will make this gamepad slip from your hands. The additional analog sticks, a pair of mushroom-shaped DualShock style ones, and a pair of tall ones that grant even more precision, can be combined however you choose to suit your needs, and are easily interchangeable using the straightforward magnetic system that holds them in place while gaming. The same goes for the two included D-pads, one similar to the classic controller, and the other with flattened sides in order to create the perfect surface for better handling and fighting games. But the real star of the show are the four rear paddles, placed on the back of the remote using the same magnetic system as before, that can function as any front-facing button, and can be pressed without taking your thumbs off the sticks. Be warned, they are extremely uncomfortable at first, especially for those of us that grip the controller as if we were chalking someone, but you will get used to them. Once you have, the advantages are enormous, especially in competitive multiplayer games where performing an action a fraction of a second later can cost your life. Above the paddles, you will also find two green switches that limit the travel of the triggers, depending on whether you wanted to play a racing game, long travel for added control, or shoot a gun, short travel for an instant kill. Too bad that the loud clack of the short travel wasn't muffled. Last but not least, on the front, in the middle, we have the new profile switch, that can toggle between two button configurations, that are saved on the controller. Is the Microsoft Xbox One Elite an automatic buy? No, definitely not for most people. The standard Microsoft Xbox One controller is a very good gamepad, and most of us don't really need something more. On the other hand, if you are a competitive gamer or someone that isn't on a budget, then, by all means, yes, get the Microsoft Xbox One Elite, it is the best controller I have ever tried, and I have tried them all, and you won't regret it.